Facts. 90% of guys who struggle with dating are nice guys. Also facts, neediness and agreeableness are two of the main problems nice guys struggle with. So in this video, I'm gonna give you two very practical tips to make your texts less needy. Nice guys are, well, yeah, nice. But generally, the label nice guy is negative. It means you're overly fake nice in order to prevent any form of conflict. So what do these men do? Well, nice guys use a couple of tactics to prevent people from hating them. Because the nice guy reasons that if people don't hate them, then they're one step closer to liking them. Right? Nope. Wrong. That's just not how attraction works. And later in this video, I'll come back to this with a clever one-liner that will completely change how you see dating. But for now, nice guys avoid conflict and are needy for validation. So what happens when they text? They put little cushions around their text to soften the blow that this text might maybe deliver to make sure no one is offended and all conflict is avoided. Want to know what these cushions in your text look like? And when analyzing screenshots of guys in the mentoring program, we clearly notice a correlation, a positive correlation, between how needy a guy is feeling and the number of hahas in their texting. So. A very simple but effective way of coming across less needy in your text is that whenever you catch yourself writing one of those ha-has or smiley faces, delete them and then send the text as is. And here's what will happen when you follow this rule. The more you want a girl to like you, the more your nice guy brain will activate and it will make sure you're joking in your text so that no one gets offended. And something really interesting happened when a recovering nice guy in my program started an experiment. So I tried cutting out all the haha to learn to become more okay with letting her be offended or angry, etc. The result was remarkable. He tracked and screenshotted the results, shared them with us, and indeed, they were remarkable. Finding number one. It almost never happened that a girl got upset. And on the contrary, there was way more positive tension in his conversations. Remember earlier when I said, well, nice guys use a couple of tactics to prevent people from hating them. Because the nice guy reasons that if people don't hate them, then they're one step closer to liking them. Well, that doesn't work because flirting is largely based on the amount of tension between two people. And when you put safety cushions around everything you say, it excessively decreases the amount of risk you're taking, causing all tension to die. And look who you're inviting with your safe texts. <laughs> Finding number two. When girls laugh at your text, they will laugh so much harder. Makes sense, and here's why. In any social setting, if there is too much tension, there are always two things that you can do to deflate the tension. Number one is removing yourself from the situation. You see this when people are in a hefty argument or in a fight and one person storms off. Or when someone embarrasses themselves in public and then they flee. The second way of deflating tension is by laughing. That's why you see people who get pranked in YouTube videos laugh when the prankster puts them in an awkward situation. The pranksters themselves will try their hardest not to laugh so that the tension cannot escape. It builds up and the video becomes a bigger hit. So if you don't laugh at your own jokes with the little ha-has you add everywhere, you create more tension. This tension transfers to the other person and they get to laugh way harder than if you would have already deflated some tension. Finding number three is that you will come across as a guy who stands by the things he says. Not afraid that your opinion might possibly offend someone. A guy that actually says what he thinks without being a vague ass, wishy-washy pussy boy. And I don't think I have to tell you that self-confidence is a wildly attractive trait. Here's a screenshot example of a guy in the program who had severe nice guy tendencies and is now enjoying his newfound freedom. Ahahahaha, ah, ha, 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 gay. I'm gay for you. Ahahaha, ah, ha, I don't know. I have doubts about your homosexuality. I want to stick it in your butt. Sometimes you're very hetero. Let me give you hemorrhoids. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's haha ha in Spanish. Only sometimes. Por favor. Before he would have added a long ha 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 after his hemorrhoids text. And yes, I am well aware this is quite an extreme example. Summarized. Most guys who struggle with flirting are nice guys. Nice guys avoid conflict and therefore they've got no tension in their conversations. By deleting the smileys, the emojis and the hahas after your more risky texts, you create more tension, you get girls to laugh harder at your texts and you come across as more confident. This experiment was done within the Text Got Mentoring program. Quick shout out to the boys in the program who keep coming up with clever experiments and new ways to improve their texting and land better dates. I'm gonna share with you some other attraction secrets we discovered. 
content. Here we found a simple way to make sure your texting attracts a relationship or a friends with benefits, whatever you're looking for at the time. One guy discovered a photo trick that boosts your attractiveness by a whopping 30% without editing the way you look. <laughs> Our supplementary book list for all the best knowledge on specific dating questions. We have a list of perfume women love most done by our community's fragrance connoisseur who has tested over 666 perfumes. Rumor has it the man doesn't even speak to get dates. He just smells nice. We have one guy who wrote a script that analyzes your convos and then tells you whether you're investing too much or too little if you want to take it that far and so on and so on. To find and attract your dream girl, get more social freedom and become part of the world's most authentic dating community for men, book a free call with us. Link in the video description. If you just want to keep stacking free dating advice, also fine by me, then I recommend watching this video or downloading one of my free things in the video description. The 10 texts that always work, the clickbait opener, the personality slicing workshop, they're all free for you. Big wet kisses on your snout. See you later.